Hi, this is David Clausen, your ESL teacher, and today we're going to learn about the destination of the month. Destination of the month from Wiki Travel. Wiki Travel, let me pull the emblem up here so you can see it. Here's Wiki Travel, so you can pull this up by yourself. And the city is Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is in the United States. So if we want to take a look, here's a map. And here you have Canada, Mexico, and the United States. And Ann Arbor is in the state of Michigan. So let me uh, keep forwarding in so you can see Michigan and it is close to the big city of Detroit 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 is where a lot of cars like Ford Motor Company are made so here's Detroit and here's Ann Arbor and we'll go maybe a little bit more and you can see where the town is or the city is in relation to other places now I'll click on Ann Arbor and we'll get from Wikipedia or Wiki Travel, I should say, an idea of what the town is like. And I'll focus down. And with Wiki Travel, you can see how you can get there by car, by plane, train, bus. And the main thing that people do is, or the biggest thing in Ann Arbor, Michigan, is the football team for the university. Because the University of Michigan, the University of Michigan, is the most famous thing in Ann Arbor. And what people like to do in the fall is go to football they call them football Saturdays football Saturdays and it is the largest stadium and I'll read that to you the University of Michigan Stadium is the largest football stadium in America with a seating capacity of 109,901 109,901 so a lot of people can fit in for the football games now what's interesting about the football is what we they call a mascot a mascot and I'll show you that here this is a wolverine okay this is the animal wolverine and if you go to the team here is the football team and right here you can see on their helmets is an emblem to try to show what a wolverine is to, to symbolize a wolverine okay so that is the biggest thing in Ann Arbor is the University of Michigan football team now another word I'd like to teach you is sculptures. Ann Arbor has a number of public sculptures, sculptures and murals that can be viewed both on campus and downtown. And sculptures are pretty common. This is a sculpture. So any city or the town that you live in has probably a sculpture. The man or the woman looks like is making a sculpture chiseling out to make a sculpture so this is a sculpture so you can uh, see those in many different towns so sculpture is a big word and of course they have public parks and gardens museums several different types of museum and some other things to do um, I thought a good one here was berries my kiosk berry farm so what you can do in October is pick your own insecticide free meaning no chemicals blackberries blackberries or raspberries 
and you can see what blackberries are. Here are blackberries, raspberries. In English, we call these berries, berries. Okay, so you can do that in Ann Arbor. Go pick some berries and things. And of course, they have other events. They have a film festival. They have other type of festivals. Uh, here they have an art fair. And um, I want to show you the food because the most famous food in Ann Arbor is called a fragle or like a bagel. Fragle. And a bagel in America is very common. This is what a bagel is. And a lot of people like to put uh, cream cheese on it. Right over here is cream cheese. Let me move the camera. And you can see here is cream cheese that people put on. And other things they'll put on there are raisins. And here you can see you can make a sandwich with a bagel. But if you go back, the fragal. Excuse me a second. The fragal. A raisin bagel that has been deep fried and rolled in cinnamon sugar. So let me show you what raisins are. These are raisins. So maybe you like raisins. And you know, while I'm thinking of it, let me type in cinnamon because cinnamon is probably something you have in your culture. This is cinnamon. And do you like cinnamon with sugar? You can make cinnamon rolls and different things with it. So it's a, a raisin bagel that has been deep fried. Deep fried is like cook, a type of cooking. Maybe I should type that in, deep fried. See if I can somehow show that. Like you deep fry chicken or different dishes, you can deep fry it um, to, you know, make the flavor and the food taste better. So that's what a fragal is. And it, I've never tried it, but I would love to try to see what it tastes like. And of course, Ann Arbor is a big enough town. You have all types of different restaurants. You have, uh, and me personally, I've never been there. So it'd be kind of fun if I'm driving through to go there. You can have Italian and burritos and different uh, meals to try out. So that gives you an idea of Ann Arbor, Michigan. It was the destination of the month for June of 2012. I hope you enjoyed it. Several different words that uh, I will list on my website. So on the link in YouTube, you can click to it, and then you can learn a few English words that we went over today. So thanks for watching, and uh, I will have many more in the future. So have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.